Hello, I hope you've had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday and got some really important time with family. Um, it was so wonderful to be at the Mulliga Hill tree lighting. Uh, it was a great night. I can't believe we ran out of antlers so fast. I had no idea that it was such a hot commodity, but as I saw everybody walking down the street, it was clear that they were a fun giveaway. It was a really great night, and I'm so grateful to the mayor for including me and for us to be part of that very wonderful event. I'm pleased to tell you that each of our hospitals um, were rated a LeapFrog A. LeapFrog is a national quality and patient safety organization that gives a letter grade to acute care hospitals. And we are so pleased that Vineland, Elmer, and Mullica Hill all received uh, LeapFrog A's. And it really is not just about winning the award, it's about the work that goes on behind the scene, really trying to every single day focus on quality, focus on safety, and making sure we're delivering the highest quality of care for you. So we have many uh, different rewards and uh, recognitions that come in uh, on a regular basis, and I'm so pleased to talk about some of these that have been achieved. Um, for maternity care, the LeapFrog organization and Money Magazine actually combined to say what are the best quality and highest value for maternity care, and both Elmer and Vineland showed up on that list, and we're so very proud of the teams there. Additionally, we've been recognized by the Women's Choice Award for two services at the Elmer Hospital, both orthopedics and maternity care. Um, again, we are just so very proud. Uh, Elmer continues to exceed expectations from our patients and from our physicians, and we're just so very grateful to the team there for all that they do to make all of these special things happen. Speaking of maternity care, I got to tell you about this patient story I actually received firsthand. I got to meet Jessica Carroll, who's a healthcare lawyer um, at a New Jersey Hospital Association event, and just took the time to come up to me, sought me out to tell me about her amazing experience um, at our facility in Vineland. See, she and her husband were in Cape May, and they were at their favorite restaurant enjoying a weekend away before she was gonna deliver, and sure enough, her water broke and she found herself in a um, local hospital, not the one she planned to deliver in, 150 miles away actually. And while she was fine and the baby was fine, the baby was underweight and needed to be taken to the Deborah F. Sager Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at Vineland. And so it was one of the worst experiences for mom because she's having to stay there and the baby came to us and she told me about what it felt like once she was able to be discharged um, and uh, she got to the, the uh, unit and she said just the warmth and the commitment that they made to her, they made sure that she had a private place to stay at the Ronald McDonald House um, unit that we have there that uh, she really felt like the team was really engaged. And obviously, you know, all of this disruption in a place that she wasn't close to home and without family, and she said she really just had such a deep commitment with those nurses to the point that she continued sending um, both holiday cards every single year so they could see the progression of her son and how big he's gotten. And that's one of the benefits that we have of having this tremendous asset in our community provided um, really because of the, the guidance and the support and the philanthropy um, led by um, Deborah's mom, Penny Sager Rossi, who really has continued to keep her spirit alive and just felt that. She felt the commitment um, from the community, even though it wasn't her community. And I think that's one of the things that really makes us different. I share these stories because I really do think it gives you a little insight to what happens every day um, in our facilities. And I think that sometimes we take it for granted, especially in these times of um, tumult, when there's so much going on in the world and there's so much negativity, just having a moment to hear, you know, good things do happen and they happen on a regular basis and they happen because of a committed team of people at Inspira who every single day, as all those awards talk about, um, really dedicate themselves to making sure that you get well and that your family and loved ones are cared for as if they were our own. So I just want to end today by wishing everyone a very happy holidays, a happy Hanukkah, a Merry Christmas, a happy Kwanzaa, and most importantly, a very, very happy new year. Until we meet again, be well and stay safe.